long ago, before jets zoomed across the skies and airports dotted the globe, people could only dream of flying. They watched birds soar above and wondered, what if humans could fly too? Some tried building wings or flying machines, but none could truly take off. That is, until two curious brothers decided to make that dream come true. Their names? Orville and Wilbur Wright. Orville and Wilbur grew up in Dayton, Ohio, in the United States. They weren't rich and they didn't go to fancy schools, but they loved to learn. They were always curious, asking questions and building things. As young boys, they made their own printing press. Then they opened a bicycle shop. But something about flying captured their imaginations like nothing else. One day, their father brought home a small toy helicopter made of wood, cork, and rubber bands. When they twisted the band and let go, it flew. The boys were amazed. That little toy got stuck in their heads. What if we could build something like this, big enough to carry a person? The Wright brothers turned to nature for help. They studied how birds tilt their wings to steer. They realized that a flying machine needed more than wings. It needed control. They filled notebooks with drawings and built tiny models to test their ideas. The brothers searched for the perfect place to test their gliders. They chose Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, a quiet town with steady winds and soft, sandy ground. There, they built their first real glider. It looked like a giant kite with wings, but they still needed to make it fly with power. Flying wasn't easy. Their first glider didn't lift well, but Orville and Wilbur didn't give up. They built a wind tunnel in their shop and tested over 200 wing shapes. Slowly, they learned what worked and what didn't. Every failure brought them closer to success. Now they needed a motor that was powerful and light. No engine like that existed, so they built one. With help from their friend, Charlie Taylor, they designed a small gasoline engine just right for flying. In 1903, they built the Wright Flyer. It had two wings stacked on top of each other, a wooden frame covered in fabric, and a small propeller. It was ready for takeoff. But would it fly? The big day arrived. Orville lay flat on the flyer. The motor roared, the propellers spun, and the flyer lifted off the ground. For 12 seconds, Orville flew 120 feet. It was the first powered flight in history. They flew three more times that day. News of the flight spread slowly. Some didn't believe it. But soon, the world saw what the brothers had done. Their invention sparked a revolution. Airplanes got better and faster and the dream of flying became real. Today, airplanes carry people across oceans and into space. But it all began with two brothers, a small workshop, and a lot of determination. The Wright brothers proved that curiosity and hard work can change the world. So if you have a dream, big or small, keep exploring, keep learning, and never give up. Just like Wilbur and Orville, you can reach for the sky and maybe even beyond.